Today we're sailing up on the uh, St. Louis River estuary. So just uh, up the western edge of Lake Superior is the St. Louis River. That runs up into northern Minnesota. And uh, the bridge we see is the Bong Bridge, which is one of two bridges that crosses the river from Duluth, Minnesota to Superior, Wisconsin. And the one near us is the Grassy Point Railroad Bridge, which is a turnstile bridge. And if I wanted to, I could call them and they would open that for me. I think today I'm, I'm going to get out with a friend of mine. And uh, so I'm not heading that way too far. But thought I'd share this pretty part of uh, my sailing grounds. The water up here used to have uh, more infrastructure and so there is some old pilings in the water that you have to be aware of. Throughout the past century there is uh, a lot of pollution up in this part of the estuary from uh, steel operations up farther up, from lumber operations. Um, it was designated a Superfund site, uh, a couple of different areas along here. You know, 20, 30, well boy, probably in the 80s, I'd have to double check, it's been a while. Um, but just now they're finishing up some of those projects to clean up the waterway, improve the fish quality. There's been fish advisories, there still are fish advisories um, for much of this area. And uh, really is some beautiful country and some beautiful area. We're sailing with the wind behind us. Uh, got my jib out on a pole. I ran into some rock a little bit earlier today that I had not expected. Um, probably part of the work they've been doing in their reclamation of the area. Sitting here between the docks, you, you go from this very industrial side to this almost park-like area over here. Ducks, geese, nice and sand over on this side. Wind's coming right on my nose, so I'm making slow progress, trying to scoot up here a little bit farther. I do kind of wonder if the city will ever do anything with this property over here. But, uh, I don't know, I'll have to check it out. Yep, definitely easier going this way. Still not fast, but at least the right direction. And when the puffs come up, uh, I'll move along nicely. I love this part of shallow water sailing. Especially when you have a sand bottom. A little something jumped in the water. Sure there's fish in here, but Oh, I saw a big swirl up here. Not sure, wonder what that was. Back out on the main part of the uh, estuary here. Should be able to head across on a nice beam reach and Got about another hour to kill before I pick up my guest today. There's a city run ski hill up here. Uh, you can see up on the hill over there. Not bad for this part of the country. 
uh, pretty pretty unimpressive for those folks who live out in the mountains. Don't hit number 15, Tim. to this spot out here uh, there's a little campground or uh, campsite with the ring uh, fire ring and uh, oh, four or five tent sites I think there's an outhouse out here but um, I'll come out for fiddlehead in the spring which are kind of fun to cook up looks like maybe somebody brought some more benches out it looks like lots of firewood up there For anybody who wants to come up this way, this is a great place to camp. Um, you can pull your boat into this little, there's a little cove here. It's shallow through here, but it's sand. So you can get up close and tuck, uh, tuck a boat in out of the wind up here. Or pull it up on the beach back there. The uh, main entrance over there that we went by is pretty exposed. All this land up here is part of um, City of Superior Municip Municipal Park. There are trails that come here. It's about a, it's a couple mile hike at least off the road um, back to that campsite. It's designed mostly as a boat in sight. Um, but you can access the trails. You can follow. This is Kimball Bay. And you can... Um, Sail a ways up here. If I remember right, there's a spot here where a snowmobile trail comes down to the shore. If I'm not right, I'm getting blown back into a bay that'll be fun getting back out of. Well, I could that could happen either way. But I'm gonna go see if I can find this. I think it's right up here around the corner. There's my automatic. Uh, bumper. I think I'm in the wrong spot. So we're going to try to get out of here. Wish me luck. Plenty of rum. Alright, it was a little tight. And I'm not going to lie, I oh, ran the motor for about 30 seconds just to... Ah, just because, you know, that happens sometimes. <laughs> Water. Yes, indeed. They never see me. Cause uh, yeah, he's I'm, actually I'm really always. sailing. And he's making a whole Thank you. 
Cannot, tell in my secrets. She cannot figure out why running downwind seems boring compared to running upwind. I've used all my best teaching tools and like I said she's really smart but it, it just isn't working. Anyway it's beautiful out here. It's a nice relaxed run back. This I think is our last run. We're gonna probably head to the end here soon. Um, sun on the water. Looks gorgeous. Just glad I got out again. Always 